What's up? Josh Smith here. Uh, Premier Guitar asked me to do a quick video on what was the song or lick that got me hooked. And even though I had been playing guitar for a while already, when I heard Stevie Ray Vaughan play Scuttle Button, that was the lightning rod moment. Changed my life without question. And uh, I'll tell you why. So anyways, i had been playing guitar since I was six years old and Stevie passed when I was 10. So I wasn't quite hip yet to Stevie. I did know Albert King and B.B. King. My parents liked blues, so I was lucky to, to be hearing good music, Hendrix and things like that. Anyway, someone gave me a VHS cassette of Stevie playing live at the Elma Combo. And this was when it was still a bootleg. It wasn't an official release. I put it in. Life changed, you know, in a second. But Scuttlebutton wasn't a song yet when he performed at Live at the Elma Combo. That was around Texas flood time. And I didn't have any of the albums. So I had my dad drive me to a music store to buy my first Stevie Ray Vaughan Double Trouble record. And the only one they had was Couldn't Stay in the Weather. I didn't know this was his second record. I would have bought Texas Flood probably if I had known the chronological order or if they'd even had it. So anyways, I buy Couldn't Stay in the Weather, I bring it home, <laughs> cassette, put it in, hit play, and just proceed to have my life change in a second. I mean, you gotta remember, this song starts the album. And not only that, it's just guitar for the first three, four seconds before the drums kick in. He plays that. And it's do 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 ba da boom ba ba da ba And they're off like, a, you know, house on fire. And I'd never heard anything like it. And like, from the second I heard it, I was like, punched in the gut. It just took my breath away. And changed my life, without question. Uh, for the next few years, I was Stevie Ray Vaughan to the bone. Uh, sometimes to a fault. You know, I started wearing a hat, growing my hair out, uh, cowboy hat I mean, growing my hair out wearing cowboy boots, bought a Stevie Ray Vaughan signature Strat, and that was my life for the next couple of years. I learned every song, every solo, note for note. And through Stevie, I, I discovered other blues musicians that I didn't know yet. You know, I was hip to Oliver King and B.B. King, but I didn't really know Otis Rush yet. Or, you know, I didn't know Guitar Slim and things like that. Stevie introduced me to things. Um, you know, and he was a big reason I'm where I'm at now. And let's look at just the actual song. For the purists, I'm in E. Sorry, I'm not tuned down to E flat. Uh, so if anybody wants to skewer me in the comments, go for it. But anyways, it's definitely a strat. Uh, on the record, he's got a Leslie going on, vibratone. But I'm gonna play straight in. Now this lick was 100% influenced by Lonnie Mac. Stevie was a giant Lonnie Mac fan, and Lonnie Mac played a lot of that fast tremolo picking stuff. And he would have a magnetone vibrato on, so Stevie used the Leslie instead. Uh, also, this was influenced by Freddie King's Funny Bone song. Um, and Mary Had a Little Lamb, songs like that, that Stevie was a big fan of and would sometimes also play in concert. But just think about how fast that lick is, and to sustain that stamina. <laughs> And he gets into the solo. It never lets up. He never ever lets up. And uh, if you notice on the video I did, I, I get into the little uh, stuff he did live, sometimes playing high. I loved when he would do that. It was like he was winking at everybody, like, yeah, I can do it however I want. It's not hard lick, you know. And as a kid, it was mind-blowing to me, like, wait a minute, he's changing the lick? It's the hardest lick I've ever heard in my life. Um, I also threw in the little intro into So What for you, just so you can know I'm a Stevie fan for life. Uh, a side note would be, I was so into Stevie that... Again, I, I went down that rabbit hole, the hair, the clothes, the guitar, it was everything. Until I had an eye-opening moment a few years later realizing I needed to find my voice on the instrument and become me, you know? And that's something we all need to do. But I don't think I would have ever even got there without the initial explosion of Stevie Ray Vaughan. And Scuttle Button was the first one. I put that tape in, hit play, life was changed. So that's my story. Uh, hope you dig it. And Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble for life. Ruling. Thanks for mirror guitar.